Oh. Huh. Welcome back. Um, today's video, I'm gonna make a pair of box jaw tongs. Here they are. Very nice, very versatile. I have used it quite a bit already. And um, very nice for knife making or to uh, turn whatever flat stock into whatever you want it to. So, um, yeah, this is definitely by far now, I think, my favorite pair of tongs. So if you're new to the channel or you're just visiting, um, hit the subscribe button. I try and do a lot of these types of projects and some more questionable ones, I guess. So let's uh, get on to the video. Just remember, when you do forge these tongs or any type of tongs or basic versions of tongs, the steps stay the same. Always turn to the left. If you're right-handed or left-handed, turn to the right. If you're right-handed, turn to the left. That's how I remember them. You do both reins, the same step. You do not flip them or do anything else. Always to the left, both of them. Okay, that's it. Let's get to her. We will be using half inch by one inch stock. Okay, I'm gonna go about an inch and a half. Half on, half off your anvil, on the edge, inside edge towards you and forge. Now, as you're doing this, sorry about that, as you're doing this, you'll start seeing this thing going all wonky and stuff. Um, turn it on its side, square it back up, make it nice and pretty. Otherwise, later on you're gonna start struggling. I'm gonna forge it down to about half the thickness, maybe just a little past that of the bar. Just squaring it back up, that's all. Okay, step two. So we had step one over here. Step two is up and over. And right in line of this little step you got here, put that on the edge of your anvil. So it's here, up, line that up, turn it to the left. Now if you look, this and the edge of your anvil should be parallel. And then put a step in, or a mark. There you go. Okay, so that was step one. Up and turn to the left. Step two, up, turn to the left again. I'm gonna do about an inch square. So an inch away from that there, and half on, half off your handle. Remember to keep everything nice and straight. Okay, so this is how you do pretty much a normal set of tongs too, same thing even with my favorite pair. This is what another blacksmith did for me on a power hammer. So it's not very clean, but it's my favorite. So it's always step one, up, turn left, step two, up, turn left, step, tr step three. And that's about it. And now you can draw these out. And uh, I'm not gonna bring you along for that. That's gonna take forever but I will bring you back when I start the other side of these tongs. Side number two, key difference. Instead of an inch, I'm gonna go inch and a half and then put a step in, like so. And then it's down, like that. See, this one's remarkably longer than the other side. Ooh, this is hot, okay. Same width about and everything. Same thing, next step, go up. Turn 90, put that step in, and then up again, 90 again. All right, 
and here they are both sides done I'm gonna cheat and use the grinder and cut these legs out and uh, bring you back when I'm done because then it's just shaping rounding off the handles punching the holes for the rivet and uh, doing other kinds of all kinds of fancy stuff I would like to interrupt this regular scheduled programming to add a little thing in that I'd like to tell you. So, normally when you did both sides in your piece of stock, you would go and instead of, I'm a big fan of that um, work smarter not harder type deal, instead of cutting it like that and then drawing these out, you do one of these. You go from this side up to there. Right? So this guy, in his infinite stupidity, wasn't paying attention. Put my mark in, put it in the vise, cut, saw daylight, and I uh, took my pry bar to pry my two pieces apart. And this fell off. Yes. Reins have been drawn out, thinned out a little bit. This is the one I'll split. I'm going to split it up to there. That's just going to get nipped off. And um, split it up to there, same distance as that one, work area. Okay, so that's split, and I did use the grinder to clean it up. And I'm going to start punching the holes for the rivet. Holy, holy, holy. Okay, and find a nice rounded spot, and then we're gonna make some bunny ears here. Fold one down. Alright, now that that's down, bend this over also at a nice rounded edge on your anvil. Remember to keep straightening everything out. Make sure you do this nice and hot. I'm gonna put it back in the uh, forge because I don't want it to start tearing. Here they are. Put the rivet in and rivet this thing together. This is probably my least favorite part of this whole thing. in now come the adjustments how to burn your hands 101 it's nicely lined up not bad yeah I can tweak that one a little bit ow Okay. 
Now I'm just gonna warm up the reins and adjust the reins. Okay, I'm gonna fold these ears over. I'm gonna put my piece of stock in and uh, call that a day. Okay, looks a little rough right now, but it's adjusted. Those have been bent. I can cut them a little shorter. It's smoking now because I'm busy making it nice and black. I stuck it in the canola oil and um, baking it in the forge while it's off. I'll bring you back when I'm done. Alrighty, here we are, done and dusted, very nice set of tongs, fits in there perfectly, does not wiggle, wobble, or pull out of there at all. Same thing with that, if you want to work on any handles. Yeah, very nice. I did use this excessively today while making the second set of tongs, which I will not show you. You'll have to wait for the next video. But there they are. These have been cut shorter. No need for freaking teeth hanging out here. And uh, yeah, hope you guys like the build. And uh, I will catch you guys on the next one. Please like, share, and subscribe. I would appreciate that. Have a good one, guys. See ya.